Good morning. I was trying to energize the band, and now I'm going to try to energize you this morning. <laughs> Happy Easter. Woo! Welcome to Trinity Church. We are a community of belonging, spirit-led, holding space for all in the Mohawk Valley. I'm Pastor Abigail, and if you're worshiping with us online today, I welcome you. Today we are celebrating Easter, which commemorates the risen Christ and new life. If you're a guest with us today, we welcome you especially. And there are connect cards in your seats if you want to connect with the church further. Uh, these can be added to the offering plate as it's passed later in worship. Next Sunday, our child care for ages one through seven returns. Today we give our child care staff and volunteers a Sunday off to be in worship. Uh, but kids are always welcome in worship. Feel free to move around as, as needed. Or if your child needs a quieter space, you can use the gathering room to experience worship and have prayerful play. Today we will also have a time of communion, and at Trinity Church the communion table is open to all. And so now let us rise in body or spirit as you're able for our opening worship song, Forever by Chris Tomlin, and the lyrics will be on the screen for us to sing. To the Lord, our God and King, His love endures forever. For He is good, He is above all things. His love endures forever. Sing praise, sing praise. With a mighty hand. And an outstretched arm, his love endures forever. For the life that's been reborn, his love endures forever. Oh 
next join us with Rise Up. In the dark and all alone, growing comfortable. Are you too scared to move? Walk out of this tomb, buried underneath the lies that you believe. Safe and sound, stuck in the ground, too lost to be found. You're just asleep, and it's turn to leave. Come on and rise up, take a breath, you're alive now. Can't you hear the voice of Jesus calling us out from the grave like Lazarus? You're brand new, the power of death couldn't hold you. Can't you hear the voice of Jesus calling us out from the grave like Lazarus? Rise. said your name, the thing that filled your veins was more than blood, it's the kind of love that washes sin away. Now the door is open wide, and the stone's been rolled aside. The old is gone, the light has come, so come on and rise up, take a breath, you're alive now, can't you hear the voice of Jesus calling? couldn't hold you. Can't you hear the voice of Jesus calling us out from the grave like Lazarus? Rise up, rise up, out from the grave like Lazarus. He's calling us to walk out of the dark. He's giving us new resurrected hearts. He's calling us to walk out of the dark. He's giving us new resurrected hearts. Oh, rise up, take a breath, you're alive. Today is Easter. I hope that you had a moment this morning to just bask in joy or peace, or maybe as you drove here today, you saw some of those little flowers coming up, um, that spring is coming, that new life is here, and that it will get warmer too. <laughs> So today is Easter, which commemorates the risen Christ and his resurrected life. Throughout the week leading up to Easter, we were witnesses to Jesus' deliberate humility and sacrifice for the purpose of salvation today. Last Sunday on Palm Sunday, we talked about how Jesus' kingdom embraced even the least prepared and the most unexpected. Uh, so no matter how joyful or uncaffeinated you are feeling this morning, you are invited into this story. And today we're focusing on Jesus calling Mary by name on Easter morning. What's in a name? So let's hear our opening scripture reading today from the Gospel of John chapter 20 verses 1 through 2, and 
11 through 18. Early in the morning on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb where Jesus had been buried and saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. She ran to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said, they have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we don't know where they have put him. Mary then stood outside near the tomb crying, and as she cried, she bent down to look inside the tomb, and she saw two angels dressed in white seated where the body of Jesus had been, one at the head and one at the foot. And the angels asked her, woman, why are you crying. She replied, they have taken away my Lord, and I don't know where they've put him. And as soon as she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there. But she didn't know it was Jesus, meaning that his true identity had been veiled from her. So Jesus said to her, woman, why are you crying? Who are you looking for? Thinking Jesus was a gardener, she replied, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have put him, and I will go get him. Jesus then called her by name, Mary. And Mary turned and said to him in Aramaic, Abunai, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Don't hold on to me. For I haven't yet gone up to my father. Go to my brothers and sisters and tell them, I am going up to my father and your father, my God, and your God. And Mary Magdalene left, announcing to the disciples, I've seen the Lord. So at first, on Easter morning, Mary is perplexed, and worried as she sees the empty tomb. She can't imagine what has happened. She thinks the worst. And in her shock and grief, we see she doesn't even recognize Jesus. His true identity is veiled from her. Yet in a beautiful moment, Jesus calls out to Mary, calls her by name, and with just one word, with just a name, Jesus shatters the grip grief has on her, and her grief is turned to joy. Jesus calls Mary out of that grave and out of her grief into a new day. Maybe a personal prayer that you would have today is, Jesus, shatter any grip grief has on me. Bring me to new life. So in this powerful moment with Mary, we see the transformational power of Jesus' resurrection. And today on Easter, Jesus calls each of us by name, inviting us out of any grief or despair that we have into the light of his presence. This morning is indeed a moment of resurrection, a moment when we are reminded that even in our darkest hours, when all seems lost, Jesus stands ready to call us by name and lead us into the light of a new day. Like Mary, we may find ourselves in moments of despair, unable to see beyond our grief and pain. We may feel lost and alone, wondering if there's any hope left in the world. But just as Jesus calls out to Mary, so too does he call out to each of us, inviting us to turn our eyes from the darkness of that tomb and fix them on the light of his presence, fix our sights on hope, and restoration. Think of a moment about when someone you least expected to see is suddenly standing before you, 
like Mary had with Jesus. Think of a moment when something you'd lost is found again and you can scarcely believe your eyes. Think of a moment when your fear was suddenly proved unfounded and you were surprised by joy. This morning is such a moment. Mary resigns herself to the worst and suddenly life turns around. So on this morning, we remember how Mary went to anoint a body and was greeted by a Savior. Amen? This Easter morning, may we be shaken from our conviction that nothing can change our situations. Today, we may be reminded that no matter how deep our sorrow, no matter how overwhelming our grief, Jesus is there ready to call us by name and lead us into a new day. He shatters the grip of grief and turns our sorrow into joy. He calls us out of the grave of despair and into the light of resurrection. And just as Jesus called Mary by name to awaken her to new life, we have a practice in the church that we have not done in a long time. You might have heard it called passing the peace. Who remembers passing the peace? <laughs> it's a time to greet each other. So I want to invite everyone this morning, I invited you to fill out a name tag, your choice, fill out a name tag as you came into church so that we would know each other's names this morning. Because as we heard in our message today, names have power. So at this time, I want to invite you to share your name with some people around you and wish them a happy Easter. Happy Easter. I'm going to start passing our offering today. And we have a time of musical reflection during our offering today. So no hurry, but we'll start this. You just want to pass it around. Thank you. A crown of thorns placed on his head He knew that he would soon be dead He said, did you forget me, Father, did you? They nailed him to a wooden cross Soon all the world would feel the loss of Christ
He hung his head and prepared to die, then lifted his face up to the sky, said, I am coming home now, Father, to you. A reed which held his final sip was gently lifted to his lips. He drank The soldier who had used his sword to pierce the body of our Lord said truly this was Jesus Christ our Savior. He looked with fear upon his sword then turned to face his Christ and Lord fell to his knees crying Took from his head the thorny crown and wrapped him in a linen gown, then laid him down to rest inside the tomb. The holes in his hands, his feet inside. Three days went by, again they came To move the stone, to bless the slain With oil and spice anointing, hallelujah But as they went to move the stone They saw that they were not alone For Jesus Christ has risen God, we pray over this offering. Gracious and loving God, on this Easter Sunday, we come before you with hearts full of gratitude and wonder. As we reflect on the story of Mary at the tomb, we are reminded of your presence in our lives, even in our darkest moments. Like Mary, you call to us by name, inviting us into new life. May this Easter season be a time for renewal and transformation for us. Help us to let go of our grief and fear and to embrace the joy and hope that comes from knowing you. As we give our offerings today, may our gifts be used to spread your love and light to all of those in need. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to come into our time of communion now, and this is a 
Easter communion. The words will be on the worship screen and we'll read the bolded words together. At Trinity Church, all are invited to this table here. All people are created in the image of God and are worthy of love and grace. So we join together in communion today by sharing in the great thanksgiving. And we start by saying, Christ is risen, death is vanquished. Christ is risen, sin's power is gone. Christ is risen, new life has come. Christ the Lord is risen today, alleluia. By your great mercy, God, we have been born anew to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. And we are invited into an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus, who came to us when we are lost and misguided and taught us to be God's people. In spite of Jesus' redemptive presence among us, Jesus was persecuted by many and betrayed by one of his own. He was rejected, tortured, and hung on a cross to die. Yet even on the day of his crucifixion, Jesus continued to teach those who would listen. And while hanging on the cross, he prayed, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Then early in the morning on the third day, Jesus laughed at death, shed his grave clothes, and walked among us alive. He was recognized by his disciples in the breaking of bread and in the power of your Holy Spirit, your church, has continued in the breaking of bread and sharing the cup. On the night that Jesus was betrayed, he shared a meal with his disciples, and he took bread from the table, gave thanks to God, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And when the meal was over, he took the cup, he gave thanks to God and gave it to his disciples, saying, Drink from this, all of you. This is the blood of a new covenant poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Today, Jesus, we remember the bread and the cup. Today, we remember your life and your death. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Holy God, pour out your spirit on these gifts of the cup and bread. Make them be for us the body and blood of Christ. Wondrous God, pour out your spirit upon us as we offer ourselves to be God's presence in the world until Jesus returns again in glory. Let us join together now in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Christ the Lord is risen today, alleluia. I'll invite our communion servers forward first, and then all are welcome, starting with those closest to the front of the sanctuary. You can come down the center aisle, and you can receive a cup and a piece of the bread. The bread is all gluten-free if you have a gluten allergy. You can receive, uh, you can partake in communion while you're up here at the front of the sanctuary or bring it back to your seat, have a moment of prayer and receive in your seats. So I invite you to come forward now for communion.
touched before I knew my shame. Almighty and ever-living Lord, you restored us to life by raising Christ from the dead. Strengthen us by this Easter sacrament as we remember and rejoice 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now let us stand and praise for our closing worship song, which is called Praise, which says, Let everything that has breath praise the Lord.
as we're sent forth, let's carry the Easter message. Jesus calls us by name to new life with every breath. Let's praise the Lord. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Happy Easter. Your faith. 